So often we face situations in our life where uh, someone puts an allegation upon us or maybe some people think that we have committed something or done something. So in that situation to pr prove their innocence, some people say that if I had committed this thing, if I had done this thing, then I will not be a Muslim or I will not have anything to do with Islam. What about such people who say this thing or this statement to prove their innocence? The answer for this is found in the book Sunan and Nisai, Hadith number 3803. The name of the book is Sunan and Nisai. So here the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whoever says, if I have nothing to do with Islam, if he is lying, then he is as he said. So let's suppose someone puts an allegation on, upon you that you have done that thing. And in reply, you intentionally lie that I have not done this thing. And then you will say this sentence also. Then you will not remain a Muslim. Okay, so if you intentionally lie and say this is uh, this statement, then you will not remain Muslim. This is the meaning of this phrase. He is as he said. This means you will not remain a Muslim if you are intention intentionally denying something and by saying this statement as well. So uh, you are lying and saying this statement together. So this means you will not remain a Muslim anymore. And if he is telling the truth, his Islam will not be sound. So let's suppose again, someone puts an allegation on you. And in reply, you tell the truth that you have nothing to do with it. You have never done that thing. But then you say this statement as well, that I will have nothing to do with Islam if I had done this. Then still, your Islam, your faith, will not remain sound it will not remain in good condition okay so we must avoid this type of statement in which we say i have nothing to do with islam if i had done this thing if i had committed such things okay may allah protect our faith may allah protect our iman may allah guide us all rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta samiyul ali See you next time, inshallah. Ma salama.